Hey, oh, Omni Cats and Omni Kittens. Thanks for tuning in to Essential Collected Editions for May 2022. I'm Omni Dog with my co host, Webhead. How's it going, Web? Howdy. Good. And I see you have, uh, is that your recent haul behind you? Yeah, that's, uh, that's, the, that's last month. But last month. I don't have this month, so you always see my last month's haul. What, uh, You'll see Fantastic what, Four down there at the bottom. And What's your, fa- what's your most looked forward to book in that pile to read? <sighs> Honestly, I think it's actually the Fantastic Four by Hickman. Is that I love that run one? so much. Yeah, I love uh, that run so much. I'm really excited to read it again. I 100% agree with you. I love that run. And then probably God hates astronauts. I'm really curious to to, to see. Oh, how that I'll be interested begins. in how you what you think of that book. That's yeah, I've been over the past few years. I've been branching out more into this, you know, other non Big Two stuff. That is a that is a br- completely different branch. This is I don't even know what tree that branch is on. I've seen it. It looks real like a real goofy branch of that tree. <laughs> it is, and I think you need to. It takes a certain kind of reader to really appreciate it, I think. It's not for everybody, but you might get a huge kick out of it. I hope you do. Yeah. So it's also time, before we get into these books, because these books are, some of them, a lot of them, you're going to be able to get at organic priced books. And my code is OmniDog. Webhead is part of the reason I even have a code. He hooked me up with JP. So you can go to Organic Price Books for code OmniDog. You get $2 off your order. And OmniDog, ship it together. You get 5% off shipping three or more books together. So yay, Organic Price Books. And we'll I'll be promoing them 20 or 40 times throughout the... No, I won't really. (laughs) Just, Uh, Just a mere 10. Yeah. And I will share the screen now. And we will tell you what is coming up. Share, boink. There it is. Uh, the first book Here in the month of May. The first week of May is May 3rd, release day. And we've got the reprint of the Annihilation Omni. Third time? Third I time. I think. When I first got into uh, collecting collected editions, like 2014... This was already a whale. This was like a whaley yep. whale. Yeah, because I got in around 2015, 2014, 2015, somewhere around there. And yeah. A, yeah. It was already like Hickman Fantastic Four was gone. Annihilation was gone. Daredevil by Miller was gone. Well, Bendis I, Brubaker. So Fantastic many of those things. Hickman became a whale later on, like 2018 well, or maybe, something. I think by fifteen or sixteen, I was already. It was already like hard to find volume Is that, one. Did it really come out that long ago? Hold on, I could just be full <laughs> of crap too. This is why these end up being forty minutes yeah. instead of twenty minutes. Because <laughs> the it came, <laughs> yeah. The uh, volume one came out in twenty thirteen, and volume two came out in twenty fourteen. So I think that about lines up. It wow. had about a year or two on the market, and it was gone. Yeah, and so a lot, and of course things like. New X-Men, Astonishing X-Men, Uncanny X-Force. Those were already whales. So the point is, fortunately, you're getting another reprint of this book so you can read it. Um, So that's uh, the first week in May. And this is a reprint of DC 1 million. One of actually one of my um, I have an overview of this book, one of the earliest overviews I ever did. It's been so long since I read this. I need to go back and reread it because I really like this book. I had fun with it. Yeah. And I, I think event it's, omnis it, are sometimes kind of, you know, iffy. right. Uh, I liked this one. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, I agree. Um, Dr. Strange, Sorcerer Sor- is Supreme. What volume is this? Sorcerer Sor- Sor- uh, three, I believe. Three. Okay. Okay, I got to get this because I got one and two, and I like that run. Oh, this must be the not stupid looking cover. Oh, there's one that's that... like the quintessentially 90s one, you know. Oh, ooh, I, oh, okay, yeah, that, okay, I may not get this. <laughs> Actually, that one might have been last month. 
possibly. Okay, yeah, that was the really odd cover that made me question whether I wanted to read it or not. <laughs> this is the this is the Buckingham Mark Buckingham, the Fables guy. He, oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. That's why it doesn't look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> For you epic collectors, Hell on Wheels, Ghost Rider. Right on, man. First week of May. Mighty Marvel Masterworks. That's the little guys. The little trade paperbacks. Right. And I think those are doing really well for Marvel, it sounds like. They're they're putting an awful lot of them out. That's a cool cover. Another epic, The Incredible Hulk Crossroads. The I'm hoping one day this gets it into an Omni. I really... Mandalo Hulk is weird. This volume especially. Have you read any of the stuff in this volume? Uh, I... Well, if I does this is a place where he's wandering around that weird crossroads dimension, and there's all these oh. weird little things that he runs into, and okay, no, I have not. Oh, it's weird. <laughs> Here's, I would bet this is one of the most anticipated books for the majority of collected edition collectors. It reminds me, I actually got that first one on sale. Oh, nice. Well, IDW had that in the sale, so now I might have to pick this up. That used to be a little bit of a whale, too, but they reprinted it, I guess. And now, finally, here is its sequel. Um, the Martini Edition, Last Call, Parker. That's a Darwin Cook cover. Darwin Cook, uh, of course, adapted a couple of the stories. We've got an Ed Brubaker ad adaptation in this. I, I have anybody I talk to especially Minister of Comics, is excited for this. I'm way excited for this because this got delayed 17 times. So I'm, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this. And now that I look at it, you can actually, if you once you get the book, if you can look at the edges uh, of, what, of his smoke, you can actually see the brush strokes on the... Um, on the... Uh, the canvas... You, you can see oh yeah, I kind of see what you mean. Yeah, you, it's amazing. You can actually see his brush strokes on the canvas of, of that. So I can't wait for this book. This is, I mean, really can't wait. Uh, Sin City, boy, that's beautiful. They're nice. The price is horrendous, but you know, one of my friends in the Discord server has been getting these, and oh, oh, they're nice looking, man. Do I know this friend? It's Rad. I don't know if you remember him. Rad. <laughs> Uh, Brad's been buying these up. We were all like, ah, they're expensive. We're not going to do it. And then he got tempted. And now everyone's like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I had gotten the first. What is this, volume four or volume three? Four. Volume four. Okay. First week of May, Spirits of Vengeance, Rise of the Midnight Suns. Famous run. Star Wars. Star Wars. What is this? <laughs> That's the Star Wars by Jason Aaron Omnibus because for some reason they're in here twice because the variants both oh. come out one week and then the week after I think the regular cover. Comes okay, out. that's what, I have this down for next week uh, coming out. That's why and that's a cover the that variants. I've never seen before. Yeah, that is the is that the Brooks cover. Anybody that hasn't read this, any of your Star Wars mm -hmm. fan mm -hmm. or just a fan of good comics, you need to read this. Star Wars by Jason Aaron, really good. Oh, yeah, this is the Imminent cover. Imminent, okay. Uh, Marvel Empire Legends, is this a, an epic? Or the Empire Le see. Legends, I, I feel like Legends... Nope, that is an omnibus. Oh, Star an Wars omnibus. Legends, the Empire omnibus. Ooh, okay, I'll have to check this one out. Honestly, I don't know what any of this stuff is, but I kind of just have been going all in, all this like Dark Horse stuff, because I'm pretty sure this is the Dark Horse stuff. Ah, okay, so this is the Dark Horse stuff that got taken over. I got it. And the end of May 3rd week is the Complete Collection Jason Aaron Volume 5. So this yeah. is for complete collectors who like their chonky uh, chonky trade paperbacks. Great run. Great, great, great run. And that is the end of May 3rd. 
And here's a, just so you all know, uh, uh, I forgot to give this caveat at the beginning. Dates can change. We have no control over that. Uh, Webhead uh, already ran a script that gave him back 30 books in the period of three days that completely changed. Um, yeah. So some of these could get pushed. I think it's happening. Is it happening a little less now that books are getting pushed, or is it just as much? I don't think it's less. Okay. It's no, just... I think it's about the same. <laughs> it I think for me, it seems not as bad because I wrote a script. Okay. So I don't have to deal with it as much, which means I have less irritation. Because <laughs> <laughs> now I click a button and hit a few things, and we're good to go. Um, so it, it seems like a pretty steady flow. I mean, m maybe just a little less week to week okay so there's still every week there's several okay so some of these books can get pushed and we we chose books that we felt would appeal to the most people so if you don't see a book here that you're dying to uh, read apologies peace and love we didn't do it on purpose we just picked the books we thought uh would appeal to the most people and usually we only cut some if, if there's like a billion so yeah or if it's something that I absolutely hate. <laughs> <laughs> Epic Collections is the week of May 10th. Epic Collection Avengers Operation Galactic Storm. Lots of that Epic. looks like some 90s stuff. I'm guessing. That looks like Beta Ray Bill. And yeah. Uh, let's see. And then Curse Words, Charles Soule, Ryan Brown, the whole damned thing. So this is giant. It's probably a pretty good sized book. Yeah, I got that one from the. Uh, I got the Kickstarter version. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Justice League Volume One Prisms. I am so far behind on DC right now. That's Bendis Justice League, I believe. Bendis Justice League. Okay, Volume One Prisms. This is the week of May tenth. Oh, what? Look at that cover. This is Moon Knight Volume Two Omnibus. Yeah, that must be the yeah, yeah. I want this cover. That is the Alex Ross cover. Oh, I'm definitely getting it. <laughs> um, I want that cover. I want it. Give it to me. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Okay, so that's Moon Knight Omnibus Volume Two. Uh, I think I got the variant because I always like those OG covers. Yeah, that does look fantastic, though. That, yeah, look at that. Sky. It's hard to pass up on an Alex Ross cover, honestly. Yeah. Uh, uh, so that one covers the 1980 series, uh, 21 through 38, and some other random stuff, Fist of Khonshu, 1 through 6, and some other random stuff. Okay. I'm definitely getting it. Rye Deluxe Edition. I'm still on the Valiant bandwagon. I'm still going to get this. I'm still going to read all that stuff. I... If we move, I am packing that stuff up and taking it with me. I'm reading it someday before I die. So this is Rye. Uh, You're not allowed to die. You have okay. to live forever, Jess. What? Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> She-Hulk Epic Collection. John Byrne, Breaking the Fourth Wall. Oh, yeah. The Byrne stuff that was in the Omni. Okay. Epic collection, epic collectors out there. Okay, here's the other Star Wars. This is the this is the cover. Regular that cover. I, I think I already have this. Week. Yeah, that's why I'm familiar yeah. with this one. Uh, Jason Aaron Star Wars, and this ends the week of May 10th. Again, you need to get this book if you like good comics or Star Wars. The beginning of May 17th, The Witches. Like, we would seem like it was out of order, but it's because it's... I'm not going to try to pronounce his name. <laughs> what, what name? And, Andres Sapowski's. Okay, I made you try and pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> so there's The Witcher. Uh, week of May 17th. Uh, Dazzler, Volume 3. Totally getting it. I am a sucker for Dazzler. That... Yeah, you buy this when they finally do an Omni? <laughs> no, I'm sticking with the... No, I don't, I'm not upgrading from the Masterworks. These things are expensive. Uh, that's a great cover. I love that. That's why I was really excited when they finally did Spectacular Spider-Man in an Omni. I was like, yes! 
<laughs> those masterworks are buku bucks. Yeah, they really are. It's kind of a crazy way, but it was the only way for a while. Yeah. To collect. I mean, stuff. I get it. Part of that is to pay for the fact that they're like remastering them. Right. And all that. Yeah. And so. I'm still cheap. I am an unabashed <laughs> fan of Dazzler. All Dazzler, all the time. Another Masterworks, Avengers Volume 22. And Roger this is Stern. Still, still the week of May 17th. Uh, May's book by Jeff Lemire. I don't know a thing about it. I I want it because it's Jeff Lemire. Because <laughs> it says Jeff Lemire at the top. Yeah, he. I have no problem. I've grown accustomed to his art, so I have no problem with the fact that he drew it and wrote it. So I'm getting it. I, I've only read like one bad caveat. Jeff Lemire I've grown book. accustomed to his art. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's a bit of an acquired taste. It is an acquired taste, but I'm okay with it. So this is Jeff Lemire's May's book. This is the week of May 17th. Uh, Moon Knight, this is the uh, Houston run. This is the yeah. Omni. Yeah, buddy. These have been out of Houston, print. Houston, Benson, and Hurwitz. Right. These have been I um, absolutely cannot wait for this. out this of print cool. forever. They were available in oversized hardcovers. The only reason I'm not getting this Omni, I would love it, is that the books were gifted to me, and if it's a gift, I got to keep it. Because, oh, did you get the OHCs gifted or you got the yeah, premieres? A friend oh, OH yeah. gifted me the OHCs and they were wildly out of print at the time. And this is probably four years ago. So it's in content anyway. So um as excited as I am for any Moon Knight content, I urge everyone if you haven't read Moon Knight, this is a good place to start. It really this is where I started. This is the first Moon Knight I ever read. Okay, good. It, yeah, this is new reader friendly. It definitely gets on the gas real quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're exactly right. <laughs> they do not zero dawdle. to sixty, boom. Yeah, <laughs> um, but this is a great run. I I think that uh, everybody needs to read this if you're a Moon Knight fan at all. Primordial, also by Jeff Lemire. Oh, and, Lemire and Sorrentino. Sorrentino. Yeah, I know nothing about this. Jeff Lemire, gonna have to get it. Ah, uh, yeah. They were showing off that because uh, there's a DCBS variant and then the regular cover. They were showing them off on Instagram. Ah, okay. So uh, I will come and mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. I will see which one I want, but I'm definitely getting it. So this is an oversized hardcover or just standard size? Do you um, know? Never mind. You it's know all what? right. I need to fix this because I think it's actually bigger than I thought it was. Sometimes it's hard to find measurements online. Yeah. Well, we'll just go with it's a hardcover. It is a hardcover. It appears it is a hard to be cover. standard, but I don't think this is correct. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm guessing it's an oversized hardcover. And this well, it's is an image one, so they don't usually do standard size hardcovers with image. Yeah, good point. So I thought uh, that was odd. She Hulk Omni by Peter David. Uh are there there's two different covers for this or just this? Yep. There's two. Two, yeah. I'll be getting this. Uh, I love She-Hulk in all forms. So, And I haven't read Peter David's run at all, so I definitely want this. Uh, the other cover is an Emma Guinness cover. Okay. This is still May 17th. Tarzan, The New Adventures. Be I bet this is beautiful. I put this in for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Roy Thomas writing. That is Roy Thomas, Tarzan. though. That's, you know. That looks. Not just any random guy. No. <laughs> this looks gorgeous. This looks absolutely gorgeous. And to end May 17th, the week of, the week of May 17th, Fall of Mutants, a bunch of dead looking mutants on that cover. That, that bad boy has been out of print a while. So that's right. Gonna be exciting for a lot of people including me one day when i've got all of these omnis i'm gonna work my way through the whole whole run good luck which is gonna be some godforsaken number of omnis I don't, oh like, my gosh like 10 <laughs> more than 10 i think more than 10 yeah but that ends may 17th and we go to a reprint Jeez, of is this volume one Yes. The JMS run of Amazing Spider-Man. 
I think this is the third time. Or we had a printing, a restock, and then this is a reprint, I think. It's... Okay. Uh, famous run by JMS. This is the week of May 24th. The week of May 24th, AMS, AMS, JMS, Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1 reprint. Firepower by Robert Kirkman, book one. Um, I'm not that's necess- an OHC. That's a big OHC, so I assume it has a lot of stuff in it. Chris Samney art in it. I'm not the biggest Kirkman fan, but I've heard a lot of good things about this. I, I've I heard want- specifically this was good. Yeah, so I definitely am going to be checking this one out. Yeah, and this is a 12 issues of the series. In this, oh, okay, in this- good. And we're still in the week of May 24th. This is volume four of uh, Hulk by Peter David. Uh, has has this come out before and it's being reprinted or is this new? I'm trying to see if I already have it. It's an excellent question, isn't it? <laughs> As we hear him typing away. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember that myself. I feel like this is the first time. I, I, I think it's, it, get, it gets confusing because they have one volume one has a reprint around the same time and it's yeah i was i think this is the first time that this one has been printed that makes i don't sense. know where the end of his run is okay, you yeah know? i have just have volume three up there so i don't think i've got this before i don't know if this is the end of his run or if there's somehow a fifth on me that's gonna have to come out because that would be insane i'm pr- I'm almost positive this is the last book, but I'm not willing to gamble on it. 467. It says, yep, that is the end. Okay. I won the game. I won the bet. Okay. <laughs> you win. <laughs> I win. I actually uh, found a spotlight on Marvel.com that has the um, Peter okay. David run of Hulk up on it. So and I'm, that's an official source. Quite so certainly has yes. two covers, too. Yes. There's that, and I don't remember who does the other cover. So this is Hulk by Peter David. Uh, uh, I'm, I've been waiting for book four to come out, I think, to start the whole thing. Um, I've heard, I think I've read bits and pieces, but I've never read the whole thing all the way through, and I'm excited to read this. Oh, the other the other cover is Cubert. Uh, ah, okay. Wait. Uh, deluxe yeah. edition of Murder Falcon. One of everybody's favorite books mine included this was an astonishingly amazing incredible book if you haven't read it you have to get this omni dog guarantee you will like this i will not give you your money back if you don't but you really should love it everybody should love this book it's incredibly touching and amazing dan brereton's nocturnals omnibus volume two Volume two, uh, that's a bitchin' cover. That is a really cool cover. Paris, you had to have stuck this in for me. I don't know. I don't know anything about this, but it looks interesting. Uh, I can't hear you. I can't. I can't hear you. I muted myself. Ah, Some right. days I'm like, I don't know what this is. I'll just throw it in. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I know there's people out there that appreciate, uh, you know, non big two books. So I like that we exactly. can highlight them. Uh, I will I will at least check out what this is about because I like the cover already. And Trover, the art of Trover saves the universe. This ends May 24th, the week of. Uh, my friend Geo from A Week in Geekdom convinced me to get the game for Switch. I haven't played it yet, of course, because I, I just because, uh, but Geo loves this game and here's the art of Trover saves the universe. <laughs> and we start the final looks very, week. Uh, looks very Rick and Morty ish. Uh, yeah, that's right. It does. Maybe they had something to do with it. I actually don't know. Cause I haven't played the game yet. And I, uh, I'd never even heard of it, to be honest. Oh, okay. Yeah, Geo knows every game ever, so 
<laughs> he recommended this to me. And we come to the final week in May. We get a, a extra week. Batman Reptilian. Yeah, this is, one was borderline because the the Tuesday is the 31st. And then the Wednesday is the 1st. And I was uh, like, yeah, screw it. <laughs> uh, is this the Grant Morrison thing? No. No. This is... I like the cover, though. Garth Ennis. Oh, 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 this is the Garth Ennis thing. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, good. I'll be picking this up. Definitely. Yeah, Garth Ennis writing Batman. That sounds boss. Uh, this is the week of May 31st, the end of the month. Uh, Catwoman of East End. Everybody needs to buy this. All I needed to see was Brew Baker. <laughs> and Darwin Cook. So yeah, you put those two guys together. They they do like the first two books in this run, and it is great, 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 great. Catwoman. Uh, I I already have the trades. I mm, I don't know if I'm upgrading or not. The trades. I probably should upgrade. The trades weren't that hard for me to find. Volume two was a way let for a long time. Uh, mm. I probably should upgrade this. It's so good. Um, the, especially the very first, uh, the Brubaker parts and the Darwin Cook parts and everything. This is a really cool look at Selena. Um, I, yeah, maybe I will upgrade this. I, mm, yeah, mm. as we watch you talk yourself into it, yeah, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, <laughs> this I I narrate my whole life. My wife was gone for two weeks, and I was like narrating out loud my whole life. I, I, I was incredibly lonely. It turned out and I was just like, "Well, it's time for me to go to the mailbox." Here I am on my way to the mailbox. Is there Not sure go? who I'm talking to. Yep, <laughs> gotta go back inside now. Uh, this is big. This is probably the fifth reprint. Fiftieth reprint of this thing. But this includes. The fold out that hasn't I I think the I can't remember if the fold out's been in earlier uh collections or not, but this one definitely does. This is like the most completest complete of Death and Return of Superman. Um with with uh yep. fold out stuff, everything when it runs out, they will reprint it again in like three years. Yeah. <laughs> I this is this is a book that if if you want it. And it goes out of print. Don't pay three hundred dollars for it on eBay because as surely as the sun will rise tomorrow, yep, DC will always reprint the Death and Return of Superman. One hundred percent. Don't ever. It is overpay. the first omnibus they ever did. I think. Ah, and it okay. will be the last. <laughs> yeah. Right. So this is the last week in May, May thirty first. Luke Cage omnibus. Whoa, that is a boss cover. I'll totally be getting this. This is not something you'd care about because it's a Bronze Age. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty boss, isn't it? Yeah, that's boss as boss can get, and <laughs> I'm definitely getting it. So, uh, Luke Cage, I'm glad he's getting an omnibus. And June 1962, Marvel. Now, you don't have to get this, but you're not allowed to make fun of it because. These are David Gabriel's babies. David Gabriel is Omar's connection at Marvel. Those two are responsible for like everything good that's happened in in Marvel reprint. He and, can have this as long as he keeps printing Ultimate Omnis. Right. I, you're 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 allowed to <laughs> not get this, but you cannot make fun of it because it's David <laughs> Gabriel's baby, and he has done a ton of good works for collected edition collectors. So peace and love, peace and love. You don't have to get it, but you cannot make fun of it. I'm telling you now, (laughs) don't make fun of this. David Gabriel, our savior and hero, and is to some extent uncanny Omar, except he's not allowed in my house anymore, whatever. (laughs) Uh, I don't know anything about this. Robert Kirkman followed up with... Rick Grimes 2000? Is, with that a, like the, a lightsaber or is that the weird Skybound X stuff? Is that what that is? I, I didn't even know I this existed. That's, that's he's, it's like he's got a lightsaber with him. What is this? It's I. 
Ryan Otley art. That's pretty cool. I, I yeah, I, I actually think this comes from that Skybound X series that they were doing. Don't know <clears throat> it. Don't know it, but that cover makes me want to check it out. <laughs> Blood spattered lightsaber Rick Grimes. That's pretty interesting. Uh, this is still the last week of May, May 31st, Summer Fires. Ooh, she's wearing a bikini kill shirt. This looks interesting. Uh, I will definitely look into this. This looks like something Omnicat would really dig. So I will keep my eye on Summer Fires. Yeah, okay. This is from the Sky, but back to the Grit Rick Grimes thing. This is from the Skybound X series that they did a little while back. Okay. So that, that it's it's pretty recent. They came back and did this, whatever this is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Superman Volume One: The Truth, the beginning story of the daring exploits of the 21st century Superman. I think this is Jonathan Kent, son of Kal El. Yeah, Superman, son of Kal El. I love Superman, so I have to get it. It looks boss. I I wish this... so much that DC would stop putting out. These freaking standard cards. I know. I, just don't I, understand. I, I, I'm just glad DC put stuff out because sometimes they seem so clueless. I'm just grateful yeah. for any collection well, they put out. Maybe they should return Omar's calls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, Superman, son of Kal-El. I think I made a mistake selling this. Teen Titans by Jeff Johns, Omnibus. Great I... run. Sorry? Great run, too. Yeah, I think I made a mistake selling this back when it was out of print, and I think that I'm going to pick this up and keep it now and read it. Um, the, the only bad thing I'd say about this is it gets completely derailed by uh, Infinite Crisis. Oh, yeah. a lot. It of is a fantastic there. run of the Teen Titans, though. Hmm. Okay, I'm okay with Infinite Crisis because I know it's at the very end and the book yeah, okay. just kind of. That's ends. fair. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm okay with that because I like Infinite Crisis and I understand what generally happens. But yeah, I'm you know get, why that happens. This is a big book too. This uh, yeah, is, this it is, is thick. Yeah, this is a big omni. Uh, how many pages is this bad book? We're at the end of Academy May. Of the... How how thick is it? Fourteen forty. Fourteen forty. That's up there. That's a few pages. That is a few pages. Three inches thick. Three inches thick. Uh, the boys' oversized omnibus volume one. I'm glad they're finally putting this out. I have the oversized I can't editions. Decide if I'm going to get this or not. Have you read it before? I haven't, and I've heard it's a little... Um, yeah, it's a little... It's not for everybody. This by Even Garth for Ennis, Ennis, pretty. This is Ennis... This like is just completely unchanged. Yeah, he's unhinged. <laughs> but it's also... I, I, I have to say, I love this book. I totally get people who are not into it. It's very, gra very graphic. It... it it goes everywhere you've never seen a comic book go before. But I, the writing is so great. I love everything about it. The TV show is much different, apparently. I haven't seen it. Um, but I'm going to keep my definitive editions. But this is a great book, but not for everybody. Peace and love, not for everybody. <laughs> and our last book. <laughs> that great also, there cover. is no peace and love in that book. <laughs> no, there's not. There's a bunch of sex and violence in yeah, that. Yeah, blood and gore and boobs. Blo yeah, it goes it goes there. Uh and this is the last book for the uh month of May, EC Confessions, Adult this Romance. Stuff on the cover of this. Illustrated. So that is a baby. great cover. <laughs> that is such a great cover. Um so that's the end of May, and you can get a lot of these books at Organic Price Books, where my code OmniDog will get you $2 off your order. 
And that uh, I've got, I'm going to have a link in my description box to take you right to organic price books and just go right ahead and order use Omnidog in all caps. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I mean, I'm hundred percent sure. Just be safe. And if you want to ship three books or more together with Omnidog, ship it together. You can say 5% included in that. So what would you say before we end what would you say is the book you're looking forward to most? One book in May. What are you looking forward to most? It's definitely Moon Knight by, by Houston. Moon Knight by that Houston. That is my jam. That is your jam. Let's see. I've been waiting Where? for an Omni of that for years. Let's see. Where is it's that? By a Moon Knight by Houston. You'll know. Where it are you? Here? There it is. There, there it is. is. What mm -hmm. am I excited for? Man, Mac, Avengers, probably that. <laughs> or the I Jeff Johns. I already have Star Wars. Um. Oh. Hmm. That's I, more of the cover than maybe the content itself. Well, content. I like the content. So. But do you love the content? But I love the cover. So I think mm. I'm most excited for this. Hey man, it's Moon Knight time. We got that finale coming Wednesday. Uh, so there we go. Thank you to Webhead. Uh, his uh, web page is comicreleases.com. There will be a link for that in the description box. You go there. It is an amazing site. Chris does an, an amazing job of keeping everything up to date in the collect collected editions world. He's, uh, I, he, I can't say enough about what a great resource comicreleases.com is. Uh, yep. Please, We're always please work and add new stuff too. So, right. Please go there, become a patron, leave a tip, whatever, just go there and uh, use that resource. It is a great resource that everybody needs to have in their back pocket. And of course, go to Organic Price Books. So until next month, Chris, I will uh, let you go to take a nap since you probably have <laughs> uh, baby duty tonight or something. Uh, never stops. <laughs> <laughs> this has been great. Thank you, everybody, for uh, tuning in. Appreciate it. Uh, Omnidog's Vault. I'm Omnidog. And I also have Instagram, Omnidogs underscore vault on Instagram. Thank you for watching. Thank you for always being uh, loyal viewers and subscribers. Peace and love. Peace and love. Uh, we love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace and love.